Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be probably a long video because I actually have quite a bit of things to show. Um, <clears throat> this is my video for Deb Houck's Crafty Cottage Smash That Small Paper Pad collab that um, all of us who are participating, we upload a video every month on the 25th and it's to show all the projects that we are creating with paper pads that are smaller than 12 by 12. Um, it's to help you know get you to use up your, for most people, enormous <laughs> stash of uh, paper pads. Um, my last video that I did back in February, I felt like I really didn't have too many projects to show. Um, but this video, like I said, I have quite a bit. Um, I did use up all of this paper pad. I finished it up. It was a birthday pad from Big Lots that I've had for years in my stash. Because um, it's probably been at least seven or eight or more years since they quit carrying the scrapbooking supplies at at least my store. And so this is probably ten or more years old. Um, and I've had it for a very long time. It's great to have an empty. I mean, only things that I threw away were like teeny tiny pieces that's I got down to where there was nothing left but itty bitty scraps so I just tossed them and this is what is going in the trash next and also wanted to just go ahead and show I did use up a bunch of products um these are all well this one I guess I must have had this around for a long time this sticker sheet it said happy and then birthday sorry happy and then birthday and then happy and birthday well, this top one, I was trying to peel it off, and it completely stuck and ripped in half. I tried to put it, piece it back together on the paper, and it went completely crooked, and then I couldn't peel it up because it was so sticky. And so I ended up having to trash that little piece of paper that the one sticker was on. So then I went and had to use the other two remaining, that happy and birthday. So now I'm just left with birthday only. So I guess I could do a stamp up here and says happy to go with this that might be cute so I guess I could use this one last but um, basically I've used pretty much this whole package of stickers <clears throat> um, this was like a whole sheet of birthday greetings they mostly just said like happy birthday another year older and just different things like that <clears throat> and um, this was from Karen Foster I got it at Hobby Lobby I don't know when I got it um, here's the numbers on the item it says birthday wishes, but that one is completely gone. I completely used up this big sheet of stickers, and they had all kinds of really like giant cupcakes. Um, this you can see here was like a big cake on a stand. Um, this was a big old cake with, um, I think there might have been some presents down there. So they were larger stickers, and they had very bright, vibrant colors. It was very pretty. Um, this, I used up both sides of this. This is a, um, it says by K and Company, and I'm not sure, here's what it's called, Beyond Postmarks. I hope you can see this. This lighting is not the greatest. There, maybe that's a little bit better. That one's gone. This right here was, let me see, oh, that was one sheet of my wooden birthday banners. Um, I used them completely up. And that was purchased on clearance from Hobby Lobby for $1.50 sometime. I don't have any clue when. And then this package of stickers. Completely empty. So, all of that was used up. And I'll just show what I have remaining from the different... Um, what I've been kind of using throughout these um, projects with the birthday paper pad. I have these two books here that have some different birthday themed stickers in them. Uh, I found this in my Christmas stash, but I did use some on a few cards. They are by Stampin' Up, and there's the metallic like, doilies. absolutely love those. I've been using um, some of these. They are by Stickabilities, the simple little thank you stickers. And then these, um, I have used one side of them. I'm not going to fool with these teeny tiny little swirlies. I uh, don't really know that they would really looked that great anyways on a card. I just almost really didn't even pay attention that they were there until 
this sheet was empty and then I realized they had all those little swirlies so this is all I have left basically for happy birthdays and then that pack will be gone <clears throat> here's one more of the wooden birthday banners absolutely love these I think they're just gorgeous they're very fun to play with I have been using up a lot of these these are also from paper studio um, or I think it's the stick abilities and they just say happy birthday and here's the other side so a bunch of those left I have been using up more of my little peel off gold corners and I did use some of let me see um, I used a few of these little designs here on some um, eight on ATC that I'm going to show you here in a little bit um, these are six sticker sheets that came in a pack together. I've used some of these. These are really cute little stickers. And there's that. So two of each sheet. Um, this is what I have left of these stickers. Those are really pretty. I like the designs on them. Very cute. <clears throat> this is all I have left on this sticker sheet. One candle and a birthday bash sticker. Three balloons. And then a couple of things up here. So that shouldn't take very much longer to get rid of those. These aren't birthday, but I did use a bunch of these in my projects this month. These are from, and I actually saw this same sheet at Hobby Lobby um, just a few weeks ago. So they do still carry this. I just really love the designs on here, like the garden theme. Um, there was a, like a rain boot that I'll be showing off on one of the projects. Very cute. So I don't have too many of those left. I think I'm going to try to use these up for the rest of my, for some of my projects in my sticker collab that I'm doing with Deb, because that won't take very long to use those up. And then these, I used a tiny bit of the borders. I just kind of like cut them in half. And these are 12 by 12 real fun borders there's a cute like christmas or birthday presents and i don't i cut the top off so i have no idea <laughs> who these are by i've had them for a long time and then these big words i used a few of them so that's what i've used um i forgot to tally up everything that i've made <clears throat> but i have made a bunch <laughs> so these were already shown off in a previous video they are the tags I made for a for the Great American Stash Bash um, video. I think my birthdays. It might have been February, but these were birthday tags for that collab, and uh, there are seven of them here. So quite a bit of fun birthday tags. And on the back, I just decorated um, with some little stickers across the bottom and a little strip there across the top just a little reminder show these real fast there's this tag and there's the bottom and the top of that and this one's one of my favorites I just love that pattern paper the blue and with all the bright colors on there and then there's the back of it so really cute and then here's this one with the cake and the little fun saying and then the back here and <clears throat> there's this one like a big party on a tag right here <laughs> there's how I used that little strip of the border sticker and I did put some bling in every other hole and then there's the back all right girly you're gonna have to move out of the way this is one of those fun like foil accented stickers from a pack that I used up and where's the party I put on there? I thought that was cute. And then there's all those candles and party time. And then this one right here. So those bright colors. That's what I loved about this pad. Even though I'm glad to be done with it, it did have really pretty collars that were fun to work with. Okay, so where is that? I'm trying to keep my stacks from falling over. I'm not really sure what to show <laughs> in what order. I guess I'll just show this stack here. These are all cards. I think I might have already shown these. In the, yeah, these were all the cards that I made for the birth or for the card um, installment in the Great American Stash Bash. Because every month on the 10th 
you upload tags following whatever the theme is for that month. And February happened to be birthday. And then on the last day of each month, you do cards. And I kind of went crazy with cards because I'm always, my daughter's always coming to me, you got a birthday card? I need one for so-and-so. Now I'll be like, take your pick. <laughs> and the insides of these, I believe, are, yes, they're all blank. So I can go through these pretty quickly. I love this one. It is adorable with the cat and the little bird on top of the present. And then here is this one. Look at those pretty collars. And there is one of those... Um, sentiment stickers that was on that sheet that I used up. This lighting is not good tonight. And But I'm trying to get this video in pretty quickly before I have to run and pick my daughter up from work. She works at Wendy's, so I guess they're considered to be essential services since they're still open. drive through only, though. They never let, they don't let the, um, anyone come into the lobby for, like, any, even doing pickup orders. So, I hope everyone out there is staying safe. <clears throat> I've been um, paid for this week that I've been off from work. I go work next week and then I'm off the next week with pay and then work the next week. We've got our offices kind of split in half to where only half of the staff is working each week. The, uh, the other half is off and then we switch back and forth that way at least through the next four weeks until we see what's going on and what they do next. So it's been nice that I've been staying home getting to do all kinds of crafting to hope everyone else is staying safe and finding what you need and you know at least maybe having a, a nice time in your home if you aren't able to get out um so that one just says happy birthday to you and there's the presents down there here's one of those banners i don't think they look really great on these cards they just pop out it's really nice and there's that one there's the another banner on the orange super pretty and this lighting is really not the greatest. Okay. Here's one that I did with this style. The little, this is a Stampin' Up ribbon. Um, it's got the two different colors. It's like green on one side and blue on the other. I have, really love that ribbon. It's really, it's really soft and just really nice to work with too. It's like silky smooth. And then just some little bling here. Another one of those stickers that just had a little um happy birthday saying on it and there's that big giant cake that i put in the middle of the card so that pretty much was the whole um, card front itself and then i put some little tiny sticker or little stars off of the same sticker sheet and just put a bling in the middle of each just to kind of help them pop out and here's another one of that style with the little birthday um, present sticker over there and some more of that ribbon and this one I just re um, reversed and how I tied it so that the blue is showing and then the green is like underneath here is this fun card and I lost a bling I'll have to go back and add one there and set that one to the side and here is this one. This is where I was starting to get down to scraps. So I was having to come up with <laughs> ways to use them. <clears throat> Whenever I get down to just small pieces, it's like usually I my mind wants to go to ATCs, but I'm like, I don't need 10,000 ATCs. So I try to come up with different ways to use them. And this one I love. This is a from a um, cut apart. It's like a heavy, really heavy cardstock. And it's just these little shapes or pictures to cut out. And I don't have any clue who it was from, but I've had that in my stash forever. So I finally used it and put some of these um, flowers down the side. And that's another thing I've been trying to use up is some of my flowers that I've had forever. And here is this. This is from that same um, cut apart sheet with these little flower shapes and I did put a little bling in the middle of each so I thought that looked really cute and here's this one I think that one turned out really pretty this is from a sheet of stickers that I used up and this one is um, another one that I turned into a birthday card this is from that little like garden and floral sticker sheet from Hobby Lobby love the birdhouses stacked there I think it's super pretty I just put a cluster of those. These are sort of burlapy textured um, flowers. I've had them forever. 
in my stash and I'm just about to use them up and then this I just turned into a giant like a flag shaped banner and then here <clears throat> is another one of those off of the garden the garden floral sheet that's another happy birthday to the side just put some bling on here turned out super pretty and here is the boot I have to, this is probably one of my favorite stickers off of the whole sheet and that gold just looks really nice with it and the cluster flowers up there and then the this one was in a another um, I think this was my last month's Pinspiration collaboration um, project. I showed a um, a pen that I had found for what was supposed to be like the easiest shaker card ever. And I kind of gave my opinion in that video. I wasn't super thrilled with it, but it is what it is. So, and here is that card. A lot of glare on that plastic. I just put my little happy birthday across the corner there. So there's that card, and then this I just made with some stickers that were on my desk and have been there for a long time. Just some Paris stickers, and used the same some of that uh, non-birthday themed paper out of the pad. There were a couple of sheets that didn't have specific birthday pattern on them, but and this is just a doily that was already on my desk, I think, and I just cut it. It was already cut in half, so I just used it right there. Okay, so there are those cards. Um, and then I kind of still went crazy with the birthday cards. I made a lot more because I still had quite a bit of full-sized, um, like large enough pieces of paper. So I just kept going with it since I was inspired to do so. Used up some of those little balloons. These are actually, I put them flat on the paper and they just kind of got lost in the background. So I took, peeled them off. They peeled off pretty easily. I just pulled slowly so they didn't rip. Put them onto some white cardstock and then fussy cut around them so that little tiny white border helps them to stay, you know, out of the background. And then these little stars, I did the same thing. Put them on cardstock, fussy cut them out, and then just put a little bling in the middle of them. And just here, anywhere there was like a little circle or flower, I put a little bling in there as well. And the insides, I did not do anything. So there is that simple little card. Here's where I used some of the corners. Love how that one looked. It turned out. I think I might have had these in a um, video recently for my card collab that I do with Katie, um, Crafty Crab. These were sort of masculine themed, and I said that was about as masculine as I could get at the moment because I was really wanting to use this paper up. And I thought, well, this is it is a more darker red in, in person. It's looking sort of a hot pink on camera, I think, but it is more red in person, so these would be fine for a, a guy I think. I really love how they turned out. Those corners I love on anything that I add them to. It just really adds a nice touch. And then here is a card that I made the other night. I was sitting in my at my craft table trying to get started working on something and I was like had all these long strips that were about an inch wide and like just left over from cutting bigger pieces down. So I just took them all cut them diagonally to make the little triangles. I haven't made a um, Starburst card in a long time, so I decided, and that one wants to pop up there, that I would just make a Starburst card. <clears throat> so I just put them all, just covered this with glue. Actually, I took a piece of yellow cardstock behind and then just um, glued my strips down. Um, I didn't, I have a couple of other cards that I did just co cover with tape and then put my pieces of paper down. But this, because I wanted to leave that border, I just glued the individual triangles down. Took my Stampin' Up oval and little scallop oval punches and put my little happy birthday there. I think that turned out super cute. And then here's this one. I used up the last three stickers that were on a, a sheet that I had. She just took a green strip that I had extra laying there and put it down in the middle and think that turned out and then here I used the very last sticker I had because this is, had these three larger ones and then I had that one sticker so I just put that on the inside here's another um, <clears throat> these two are the same so I'll show them at the same time um, two more with the wooden banner I think these turned out really really pretty love these 
now I want to start giving everyone I know birthday cards because <laughs> I have so many. Um, here's another one with a little sticker on there, and um, I did put it onto some white cardstock. Fussy cut it out and then matted that with some of the green to kind of coordinate with the green down here, and then put a few little flowers there. I think that turned out really pretty. Here is this one with the big cake sticker and some of the bling in the corner and a little happy birthday banner. <clears throat> this one I used some foil um, tape that was in some of my Christmas um, like washi and stuff and this just happened to be a metallic foil tape. I thought that looked really pretty on the front and I just um, see if I can get that to focus. It says make a wish and I fussy cut around that. So the oval's not perfectly cut out, but it's good enough. Here is, um, I had this one little bling that was laying on my desk. Um, I had gotten it out a couple months back and it just never got put away. And so I thought, I'm just going to use that since it's laying there. Had this um, ribbon that was, I had a spool of ribbon on my desk. So I just wrapped that around the card before I taped this layer down. And then did my little, take a, like a small scrap of ribbon and make like a little faux bow there. And put that in the middle. And just matted a cupcake in, on the red and then backed it with the white. I think that turned out really, really nice. And then here's one. just says, Happy Birthday Wishes with the gold um, corners. <clears throat> here's this one. I kind of went crazy with the bling, but with all that shiny bling and the metallic stickers this card really sparkles it has lots of shimmer and shine to it and then this one is really fun <laughs> there's a little mouse climbing up the birthday cake and some balloons and then um this used a full mat of the birthday uh, present paper and then i just took a strip of blue that i cut out with like a um the little edging scissors and then put a couple flowers up there and then here is this one just took two of the scraps or sort of pieced them together and put them on a blue mat some ribbon down the middle and then just a few stickers here and there with some bling so that is all that and i have more cards um this one is not birthday but i did use the paper out of there um, this is just a like a thinking of you or just a note to say thank you and this I was in my button stash um, just put my corners down there and the inside is plain so there's that little thinking of you card this one is absolutely adorable there's where I used one of those gold doilies took my scallop punch and put a little cupcake sticker in the middle and put happy birthday down at the bottom. I thought about putting that on some cardstock, like the white cardstock, and then matting it, but the sticker was already so wide, I was afraid it was going to be wider than this by the time I got finished with it. And I thought, well, it looks really cute on that white paper. I really love the way that looks. So there is that cute cupcake. Here's this one. I did sort of the same way because I already had these squares just laying there. I didn't trim them or anything. I just used them the size that they were. So this one is like longer than that one because that's what happened. That just happened to be what size they were. And I just went with it. So these are relatively no fuss cards here. <laughs> just use what I had laying there. And there's one of the doilies again with my scallop punch. And that is a little sticker or a little, duh, a sticker, a little um, present off of one of the sticker sheets. Here I used one of the larger doilies. Um, gold doilies with the cute uh, little cake sticker in there and I thought it looked nice um, on these on the candle paper there's all kinds of gold in the flame so I didn't really think it needed much of anything else and on the inside I did put the happy birthday in there because I didn't really want to cover up much of it on the outside this is where I used that happy birthday I was thinking about trying to use this like put it onto some white cardstock and the cardstock made it go like cover up it was too big it did not fit on the card so I tried to peel it up and it just ripped like crazy it just would not come off the cardstock so then I had to take the other happy and birthday 
and here I actually kind of ripped when I was pulling it off of the actual packaging sheet so these were really mm -hmm. really tacky and did not even want to come off of the backing sheets they were on so that's don't even so that probably tells you they've been around for a long time um, but I think it looks really cute on that paper it's kind of crazy though because it's very wild background anyways and then you put this on there but I think it still stands out enough because it does have a white border around it so I think it really turned out cute here's this one that I made now this I had made a whole bunch <clears throat> from scraps I had made um, what I wanted to call like card fronts or card embellishments they were just smaller pieces that I could add to a card when I wanted to make a quick card and I already had some bases like that I had put together that I didn't have anything on there yet because I wasn't really sure how I wanted to decorate it and so I was going through and I thought well that looks really nice on there so I just went ahead and stuck them together and made a nice card and same with this one I had this done where I had the strip down the middle this is just a um it's backed on to some like foam tape I put the doily on top of these two pieces of pattern paper. They don't even meet in the middle because they were too short, too narrow. Put this strip down the middle and it is um, backed on some yellow, the same as the outside pieces. I put this doily underneath this strip here. And this was just a little card embellishment that I had put together out of some stickers. And I thought, well, that looks really cute on the middle there. So I put that together. Here is another one that I kind of pieced together after the fact. Um, this was one of my little card um, embellishment things that I had made. Put a couple of gold. I had two of these left is all I had. So I put one on each side. And this is just the happy birthday that I put on the white card stock and fussy cut out and put one green flower there in the middle. thought that looked really nice. And then here is this one. This was another one of the little card embellishments that I had made. thought it looked really good in the middle of this card. And then here is just another simple little card. Just put that little tiny sticker down there. It had a few um, flowers. I think I'm getting down to about where I did not have any more flowers to coordinate with the papers. I think I have mostly purple left. So I've be easily able to use those up because purple is my favorite color so that won't be hard at all that one turned out really really pretty and then I had one sheet of full 8 by 8 that I had not cut into yet and so I just looked on my envelope punch board and um, I looked to see what size envelope takes an 8 by 8 piece of paper and I just Turned it into an envelope. I thought that looked really cute with a nice pattern on the front. Took some scraps of the yellow and white to make a little place to write, like to and from. And then just put these stickers onto some cardstock and um, to make them a little bit more sturdy. And I did put a card in here and it fits really nicely. Like if I wanted to put this card in here, just slide it down in there and it closes just fine. So they does work nice. It's a little bit thin, so I would definitely not send it through the mail unless it went inside of another package. But I thought that turned out super cute. So, because I really wanted to do something with the whole piece of paper since I happen to have one left. And all that I have left now are these, this stack here. And these are, um, this is an ATC that I made. I think I might have showed it in a previous video. I just took a um, sticker here that has a lot of flowers on it, like a flower pot, and put bling in the middle of each flower. And used some of these foil stickers that I had on my desk. And that one just says goodness, if you can read it. And then that one just says joy. And then took a couple of butterflies. thought that turned out really cute. Um, here are a few of the um, card embellishments that I made. Too. So if I'm needing to make a quick card, I can, or I can even add them onto ATCs, the smaller ones. Just took these little round stickers, put backed it onto a um, scallop circle, and then just took a scrap of the birthday present paper. And I thought that turned out really, really adorable. And here's this one. I love this one. The colors. I, that's definitely my favorite print after that blue with all the wild patterns on it. This is my second favorite pattern in that whole. Um, paper pad 
And that one just says, have a sweet birthday. Thought that one's really cute. Here's another one of those. Um, this was a sticker, and then I backed it onto yellow. And then found in my scrap bag some of this hot pink. And this yellow piece here is actually on foam, so it's a little bit dimensional. And then here is where I use some of those peel-offs. Another year older and cuter too. So this would be nice to just turn into a really quick card sometime. When I ever run out of these million cards that I've made, here's another one that I can just make a quick card out of. <clears throat> and again, here's this one. I didn't add any bling to it. Um, I may put in the corners or I may just leave it because this does have some glitter in the bows on the packages. This one's adorable. I took the last, or four out of the last five candles. Um, I left the blue one on the sheet still to use another time. I took the two green and two orange and just put them across these, um, this scrap of green and put little stars that I had left on that sticker sheet. Put a bling in the middle of each of them and then the little, turned a little banner out of the happy birthday. So that'll make a fun card. And then here is this one. Just went crazy with the bling on there, but I thought it needed something because I before it was just the hat and the flower. So I just put a, about five of the purple blings on there. But that turned out cute. And then these are, let me see here, I did make two more tags. Um, this was just, I dug into my 12 by 12 <clears throat> paper drawer and found a piece that coordinated with the collars because I was out of the other collar that I was wanting to use. And I found this on the other side is like a brown flowery print. So that's why I, definitely why I needed white behind it. And there's these two. I used one of the last few stickers on one of the sheets that I had. Just put a bling up there. And then this is just some gold um, glitter tape. I think it's from a St. Patrick's Day washi pack that I got at Hobby Lobby a couple years ago. And then here is that one. Just says another year older and cuter too. Happy birthday. So there's those two tags. Here is a, um, let me see, I got two of them here. These are a couple of ATCs that I put together out of the, using the Starburst because I had still had a bunch of these um, little triangles left over. So I just made some little ATC sizes out of them. And here again, I could turn these into cards if I want to. Uh, I didn't do anything on the back. This is just put on yellow cardstock, and then I just cut a piece of white that I covered up all the little points of those triangles. Put a piece of glitter washi, and then just a cluster of flowers. And I thought that turned out so adorable. And then these are <clears throat> these pieces of paper here are actually um, miscuts. I was following a tutorial on another project that I'll be showing next and it, the size that was in the tutorial was not coming out the way it was making it crooked and like wonky looking on the project. So I recut to make the other project look correct, look better. And so I was left with these triangles and they fit perfect on a, on a, like an ATC sized project. So I used these little happy birthday stickers in the top. I just put a piece of, um, this is two and a half by three and a half, the outer layer. And then I put a cut like a quarter inch in for the cream. And then this fit perfectly because this is two and a quarter by three and a quarter. So it was the perfect fit. And then just put gold down the like diagonal and then one little flower. And here's another one that I did. Thought these turned out adorable. They can be traded as like ATCs or they can be turned into more cards. Like I really need any more cards, but in the future I might need more cards. <laughs> but I thought they turned out really cute. And so the diagonals are on different sides for each, basically each of these cards because I had the square piece of paper that I had to cut in half. And so I'm left with a diagonal here and here and like here and here made four ATCs out of them. And then here is one that I put together with a few more of the tiny scraps. Thought that turned out really, really cute. And then here is the project that I was making. I'll actually be doing this 
for my, um, I'll talk about this more on my, on the last Saturday of this month, because this is my Pinspiration project, but it is a, um, gift card holder. So I did three of those, and I will go into more detail on those when I actually do my Pinspiration collaboration project. Share. Okay, so that is, let me loosen this up a little bit. This is my massive stack, and there's my Bubba Midnight. That is my massive stack of birthday stuff, and that is, we're already 35 minutes in, and I've got to show, I did get a big jump start on my next pad, and I'm actually down to where I've just got seven sheets of paper left plus scraps. I'll show real fast. I did kind of show in another video what I was going to be doing when I finished up the birthday pad. This is a, um, I think it looks like it's called Madeline, and I'm not sure who it's by. I can't see because it's all covered up, um, but it was bought on clearance at Hobby Lobby. It has really gorgeous papers in it. Here are the scraps that I have, so not very many small scraps left over, and then I've got um, two sheets here that I used for a um, envelope liners. And then I've got actually seven full pieces of paper left. So I don't have a whole lot of projects right now, but I will show real quick what I've been using. Um, this is a ideology pack by Tim Holtz, which has some really like vintage-y um, images in there, die cuts. I found this, um, let's see if I can get it. It is another, Tim Holtz, this botanical, and it has really pretty flowers in there. I've been using, <clears throat> these are by Tim Holtz, Ideology uh, Metallic Stickers, and they all say, they all four sheets have the exact same sayings and like words on them, but you get two of the black with gold and two of the white with gold, and I absolutely love these stickers. And I've been using from the um, Sticky Club, some of these stickers here. I used up what was in here, and I've been using a lot of these right here. Okay, and then also I've been trying to use up, these were given to me in a swap, so I've been using a lot of those. Um, this is actually already gone. It was a sheet of um, floral 3D stickers. So I've been using a bunch of these from Recollections, um, Butterflies and Craft with different prints on them did use a couple of these, I think, or I know I used a few in the birthday paper projects. Just these little puffy, um, I got them at Hobby Lobby. And then, okay, that is all. <clears throat> so here's what I've gotten so far. This little stack here. Here is this gorgeous card. This is one of the 3D um, road stickers. These are from the Tim Holtz words. Um, just cut down <clears throat> a piece of the card stock to the to fit these cards. These are Hobby Lobby's cards and they are four this way by five and a half. They're not the regular like four and a quarter, five and a half. They are four inches. And so I just cut them down a quarter inch smaller. Use one of the doilies and a flower and a butterfly and then the little word sticker there. On the inside I did layer it with another piece of the card stock. <clears throat> this is a really fun, easy project. I ran across the video last night while I was already laying down. I was looking up six by six paper pad project ideas. Um, there was a channel, and I cannot remember her, Twigs and Tomes, I think is the name of her channel. And she had this cute little booklet like thing. It's made out of two pieces of six by six paper and the only waste that you have is the holes that come out of these two tags and the little teeny tiny triangles that you snip off that is all that you throw away and this little tag is adorable <laughs> absolutely love it has this little teensy weensy little tuck pocket there have this tuck pocket here on the front opened up and there is a tuck pocket right here this right here is a belly band and there are these two pockets right here. This one goes down inside there. And then this one right here slides in sideways right there. And on the back, you have the same thing. You have a pocket here 
and a pocket there. And I thought this was just the coolest thing ever. It took me like, I'd say 30 minutes total to put it together. And that was only because I was having to kind of like stop and start her video where she was showing, like telling the measurements to cut everything. If I had written it down, which I'm going to go back and watch the video again and write down how to cut everything, you can make like a ton of these in no time. And it uses up complete sheets of six by six, or if you had a 12 by 12 piece of paper, you could make two of them because you would need two six by six pages for one booklet. But I will put her video link in the description below. So if anyone else wants to go and check this out, it is a great idea for small paper pads. And it was super fun. I love the way it turned out. The paper pad that I'm using is one-sided, but I think it looks nice with the, um, the white showing. And so there is that little project. Super fun and adorable. <clears throat> Here's a little ATC I put together. Um, this is the Tim Holtz pieces here, these three. Just layered them. And that one says, Happy Together. I thought that looked cute with that image. Put a few bling from Hobby Lobby. Made a little couple page flags there. And I did post, put it on some brown for the backing. And thought that turned out really, really cute. And these are some journals that I made. I was determined that when I started a new 6x6 six six pad, that before I started cutting too many of them up for cards and like getting all kinds of small scraps, I was going to make a couple, at least two, little journals. So here, um, this is from the um, botanical pack of like florals and butterflies by Tim Holtz. Very bright colors. Love them. Put a bling in the middle of each flower. And I put note to self. That was one of the word stickers. And just some lace that I found in my stash. Thought it looked really pretty. And then there's the back. And I did not do anything on the inside. I know some people will put like pockets or whatever. I do that if I'm doing like a larger 8.5 by 11 or whatever size it is for like the larger sized comp book. Uh, now this one is funny. <laughs> I'll have to tell what my oopsie on this one. This is one of those large butterflies, and I thought it looked so nice on this paper. I was laying everything out. It had hot glued. Um, I put foam on this part of the butterfly, and where this was raised a little bit, I just put hot glue. And everything was set up, and I opened it up, and I was like, what the crap did I do? <laughs> I put it upside down. <laughs> this was going to be the front. And it was already too late to pull this up because the hot glue was all set up. It had been like five or about five, six minutes or so. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go with it. I'll probably end up giving this to my mom anyways because she loves butterflies. And this is explore. This was one long sticker and I just cut it apart. Explore, dream, discover. But that turned out so cute. And it really looks good with that being on the cover. I wish I had reversed the papers, but now it's upside down, but it'll still work. It's a, It's still a notebook. So there are those two journals. <clears throat> now this is another, this was something <clears throat> that I had already saved like a long time ago on my Pinterest board. Um, it's six by six paper pad project ideas. Um, so, and my Pinterest um, name is Kim Weatherholt. So if anyone wants to go and, I keep hitting the camera. If anyone wants to go and pin that, it's in my six by six project board. This is, you take one six by six piece of paper and you have to use, of course, some extra like coordinating cardstock, but you basically use one six by six piece of paper and it makes an envelope and a card and a tag. This is a little teeny weeny tag. It's so adorable. And I just took my scallop punches again and put the thank you on there and used a um, Stampin' Up punch. I can't remember what it's called, but I haven't used it forever and I saw it, it was used in this little um, pen like the little tutorial and so I pulled it out and used it and here is this card this was actually Christmas cards and it was a Christmas card set that the um, tutorial showed but I love it with this butterfly paper and then there's the inside I took some white and layered it with the um, blue that I was using on the front and then there was that extra strip that you cut off from here and then this is the envelope flap so that turned out this was going to be like a little bit short from covering it um, so I did back it with a little bit of blue and it also just helps to kind of make it a little bit more sturdy so that is a nice little gift set to have on hand and then these are another project that I found 
it's to take one piece of six by six paper and you make a little file folder and septuria i don't know if that's her whole name she's on youtube and she makes all kinds of awesome projects using like six by six paper pads and you just take a piece of six by six paper you fold it directly in half so that whatever print you want going up and down like this on the front you just fold it in half that way and then open it up and you fold it up about an inch and a half and then you cut the little slit out and then just glue on the side and it makes these cute little pockets and this is from my um the sticker club i got these little four um, four of these images two are this image and two are a different image and these little stickers here were sort of see-through they're almost vellumy like textured so i put them onto some white cardstock so that you wouldn't see through them and there's a tim holtz um, sticker and i thought these would be fun to tuck into happy mail like you're sending a swap and you want to add a few extra goodies just tuck a few um tags or something even an atc would probably fit nicely in there if it's wide enough it might not be wide enough but you could just put the atc in like side there and close it i thought these would make nice little gifts and then here's another one with that red paper it's gorgeous there's that's what it looks like on the inside and then the backs are just plain but these were super quick so easy you make fold make two folds and one little cut and you're done and i love this picture here it's gorgeous and then put hello friend on that one and there's the inside of that and then here is this one so these are really fun little happy mail add-ins if you needed something quick and easy and the last thing i did i loved a couple of prints that were in that pad and i wanted to make them six by six cards i never make six by six cards because they're so big but i thought these turned out gorgeous just got some um of this sort of a light blue card stock and just cut it in half six by twelve so i could get two cards out of it this um outer layer is just some almost a pinkish colored it's like a very pale pink in person um with all the inking around the edge it looks more of a cream but it's very very pale pink um it looked good with the blue and the brown like the colors in the paper and then so i cut the outer layer about an eighth of an inch smaller than the um, six by six and then the next layer this pattern paper is another eighth so it's a quarter inch smaller than the six by six and just took a doily and one of those 3d um, rose stickers these already came with those in the middle of them and then i took the hello there from tim holtz pad and one of those butterflies thought that turned out really nice and on the inside i did put a piece of um just some more of that paper of the plain like cream or pinkish cream it's more like a, a skin call a skin tone i guess sort of like a natural skin tone looking these would be perfect for but i think i used them all <laughs> but they would have been perfect for the um like julie nutting dolls and stuff like that and then i just made a few page flags out of some scraps and that one turned out really nice and then i made a um flap for the envelope up here and this is just made out of a piece of cardstock cut to nine and a half by nine and a half score at four and three quarters and you have an envelope for a six by six card and i did make a tiny little gusset there um, so as you can see that away because the card was very is very dimensional and that just helps so that it closes a little bit better and then that was actually the second card i made this is the first one i absolutely love this one i love that um rose it has a almost like a satiny rose right there as well as the just paper and it's very glittery it's very textured and very sturdy put some a little itty bitty bling in the middle of each flower on this card i didn't do it on the other one but because it had some bling in the flower that was on it i thought this just really added a nice touch and this one says you are loved and put the little butterfly up there and there is the inside these were three little tiny butterflies that were on the sheet with the flowers so i just put them up in the corner instead of a page flag and there is the envelope for this one so these cards i think turned out beautiful just don't know who i will give them to but they'll be nice to have on hand 
So, sorry this video is, took forever, but I really had so many projects for this month of March. I um, couldn't believe how much I was in the crafty mood. That was complete opposite from February. February, it's like I could not even get myself to step foot in my craft room. And now it's like every day I'm not wanting to leave. So it's awesome. Um, anyone else out there who was suffering from lack of craftiness and, and mojo and everything hope everyone's back to um, crafting and being creative or doing whatever you love hopefully you're filling up to doing what you know things that you want to and I will talk to everyone the next time and I will be doing another um, collab video on the 27th this video here is the smash that small paper pad collab on the 25th and then I'm in Deb Houck's stickier side of crafting collab which goes up on the 27th so I'll be back in a couple days with that um, hope everyone has a great month so far and not very many days left and um, after the sticker collab I'll also be doing a my Pinspiration collab so I have several videos coming up and I'm um, looking forward to seeing everyone else's videos who's in the collabs as well. Everyone will be in the description below. So please go check out and go to their links and like and subscribe and all that and show support. And I will talk to everyone the next time. And he, as you can see, he is still knocked out. He is a lazy boy. <laughs> Midnight and myself say good night, everyone. And I hope you all have a great rest of your week. Talk to you later. Bye.